So that was really when I stopped getting interested. But uh, long story short, I uh, the point I'm telling this whole story is because uh, I knew I started. We started hearing and basic training, or really AIT. Matter of fact, there was a company commander. He lost his company for fucking one of the little privates. And, you know, by then, you know, gangsta, I'm serious. Gangsta rap had been out, you know, and I'm from Birmingham. So we already knew about not losing your, basically, it was, for us, it was losing your money. Obviously, it's losing your rank and your command. It was just AIT, but still. We was like, he's a captain, and he lost it over some pussy. He probably was married. I mean, yeah, she probably was 18 and da 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 and pretty and did it. Because, yeah, it was a whole lot of pretty girls. You know, it still is in basic and AIT. It's a bunch of them. You know, <laughs> it's always like that. And, but we was like, hell no. Yeah, I think uh, Snoop Tape had just came out with CD. The first one, his first solo tape had just came out. You know, outcast and all that. But the point is, we was like, this nigga gave up his whole fucking career for some kitty cat. Ain't no way. He, I'm like, he's the company. And I, I was like, you know what really happened? She started feeling like his girlfriend. That's why she told on him. And, and he's the company commander. And I was like, them drill stars that was doing it in basic training. You know how they, we like, you know how they got to train us. So she started, she's a, first of all, females don't like doing all that shit in the first place and try to get out of it. It been like that. We been knowing, wasn't nobody mad over there getting over. Don't nobody give a fuck. You still do your best. You know, that's, that's you. You got your reasons for not falling out or getting recycled or get, you know, you just didn't make it, period. You got your own reasons. So nobody cared about the girls, you know, getting over or, you know, having cramps. Seriously, that was even in 82nd, you know, the... We on the FTX and we out there for a couple of weeks or days. Even you know, this, uh, what, 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 how she got out? Oh, she, you know, she had p- her period. You know, yeah, seriously. There's, there's a, yeah, they they get tell the sergeant they got to go back because they ain't got no tampons. You know, I ain't busting them out. Nobody was mad. Nobody was like, oh, she getting over. You know, it's just them. It's just the girls. You know, whatever. You still thinking about your own career. Okay, so this guy just happened to have to have the turn, or is he delivering something here? I doubt it. So, yeah, like I said, it's over. Y'all can get mad. So, anyway, my point is, I'm still trying to get to the tail hook. And all of it, so like I said, so we already have been hearing about these guys getting in trouble. And like I said, my thing, we was already, because we're only like 18 to 19. Most of us, you know, we grew up gangster. We're like, you know, you know women. You just can't fuck him. Thinking you getting free pussy, it don't, it don't matter. I don't. Some niggas can. Some, you know, maybe some of them drill stars got away with it. I'm not telling, but I'm just saying. There's no, it wasn't no hate. It's just certain men can do that. It, it just fuck them, and, and the girl, maybe she's the type. Just I got me some dick and left. But majority, you, you done hit a spot. She, she, yeah, she your girl, and now you, you, you're a married drill son or the married. Da, 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 you know she wants special treatment. You got to tell her to do push ups and. This and that. We was like, these niggas ain't, ain't no, because we already thinking by then. We already, most of us decided we like it. And we going to stay and do the whole 20. So we already looking forward, you know. I, you know, for a second, we, I might even thought I was going to go to drill song school. At that point, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, you, you, nothing hurts no more. Nothing they can do to you. Certain, uh, certain people. And it was true. Every, you know, everything, I, I'm just, it was just a matter of getting a slot. You know, finding a spot for us. Because it was very, like, most people, people who don't know, they'd be like, oh, I would never do it. I ain't doing all that. I just like, bro, you, you don't have to. We wouldn't want you to. First of all, it's very competitive just to get in there. Ain't that many spots. <laughs> you know, so you wouldn't have to worry. You could do it your whole 20 years behind the desk. And nobody would be mad at you. Nobody would say anything. <laughs> exactly. You still get respect from us. It's just we want to do all that gun hole shit. You know, you just can't help it. But uh, my point is, giving up your career, it's just like, no, man, you know, now you bust down and they don't put you out, you was a sergeant, now you just another motherfucking private, and, and you know, and more than likely, we, we weren't going with all, for all that shit, they still try, oh, he took advantage, it's like, no, nigga, you got taken advantage of, damn it, and they gonna look, we said that back in the 90s, we were just 18, we were just... Just brand new, spanking new in the home. Like, no, nigga, you let her, she used you. 
And she really ain't gonna get none. She just got a little privilege for a while. Got to have feel like it's special, I guess, going to office or wherever y'all was fucking. And, and now you busted because I guess you did something she didn't like, just like a regular relationship. They got nothing to do with the military. <laughs> she always in a relationship. <laughs> she mad at you, nigga. You stayed out all night or something. You looked at another bitch. You know, that, that's exactly what we were saying. It wasn't no, oh, this is wrong to women. It's like, no, nigga, no, this is on you. You did that to yourself. I don't care. And yeah, some of them got real little, they did a lot of them. Even by the time you permanent party, they print a lot of them. The little short, short, tiny little shorts, tiny as hell. Some of them BDU pants. Girl, black girls wearing BDU pants so tight. This in the 90s, look like, you know, street jeans. Tight, tight. Just as tight as they wear their jeans. Just, just super tight. The pockets, are, you know, the, the cargo pockets, they can't even close because they got them starched. The pocket, you know, is flared out because she's so thick and she wearing them skin tight BDUs. You know, she a sergeant. That's a, that's a thing, too. You know, y'all, we still just private. She, she a fucking E6 or something. She's like, God damn, look at that. You know? But we wasn't even like they trying to get over or uh, sexist. It's just, you, no, you did it. That's what, that's what the real shit they need to say. Not all this, oh, you got to respect all that. Like, no, no, nigga, you got to watch out for your own career. Especially if you married. You married and, you know, you got to watch out for that trap. And that's on you. You lost everything. And you deserve what you get for being stupid. Okay, what you better, you better find something else to do. Take a shower or something, nigga. You know, you know that she getting close and friendly, you know, laughing and touching and whatever. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I can't work with her. This bitch way too friendly. You already know what time it is. So, anyway, but I came out to really dog out the little... The uh, Puerto Rican right here. I ain't got nothing against Puerto Rican. My, like I was just thinking about my homeboy when I was when I was these little kids in New York. He was, you know, my crew consisted of Puerto Rican, black, you know, Puerto the world, the Puerto Rican world, Puerto Rican homie. He was the one I always doing finding the fun shit to do, you know. So I was just fucking with him because he 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 on this program shit. That's all. But. But my point is, this whole thing, oh, like back to what I said, you know, the, the, the speech he gave, it's like I remember it, we're almost, I know it's not word for word, but he's like, if you feel something about racism, somebody's being racist to you, it wasn't no white, the white supremacy, but it was mostly sexism, and I tell the truth, even all of us would talk about it, you know, in the squad room, the, the white guys, black, because all most all of us, all of us mostly all we heard was about sexism, what we couldn't do as guys. So that banded all us together, just like, you know, you, you it, it didn't really stop nothing. Most of the girls we worked with, they were cool. They nobody really, because like I said, really would get you trouble if you get you start fucking them, and, and it's voluntary, you know, exactly, not raping. That's usually what you, that's why, like I said, most of us, we mess with girls you meet off posts or at the club on posts, but they civilians, but you don't mess with, you just, you know, shit, just like they say in, re in regular civilian world, yeah, office romance, they always go bad, <laughs> like, no, don't, don't, God, that's just common sense, it was like, no. And, you know, really, you know, certain jokes. And nobody told dirty, dirty jokes. That is just anything. Oh, shit, nigga, that, 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 just your language. You had to watch it. And it was really, we would joke about it. You know, she's like a uh, family guy made a joke about it. Uh, but it was a racist joke. I think Stewie was telling a racist joke. And he looked over his shoulder before he said it. And there was no black people. But as soon as he said it, the black people were there or something like that. That's how it was. It was like, we look over our shoulder. I would, I, we would joke. You know, you 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 look, you really would. It was just like that. And serious, this was way before Family Guy. This is like '96, and he, <laughs> then he, we could say something about women, and we would just joke about how we, you know, and it, like he said, this is not just the army. This is from the Pentagon down. Lotted, dotted, everybody, Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, Air Force. Everybody's doing this training. Everybody, no matter what rank, General, Admiral, whatever. Everybody on down. The sexual harassment. It's like don't basically don't mess with these hoes, nigga. That's the end of leave them alone. You know? 
It's on you. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> That's how it was. That was it. It was funny. And most of us, it, was, it wasn't hard to navigate at all. It wasn't no big deal. It didn't make us mad. What made us mad was the fucking rules of engagement, you know. No, seriously, like if something happened, we, you know, they still talk about it now. Same thing. Who's already talking about it? Why the hell we got to wait to get shot at first? But anyway, that's something else. I, I, I'm going to ramble on. But anyway, I, I don't know what these niggas mad about. I, I, it, uh, it, it's just over. I guess God put it on my heart to, to get this, finally get all this stuff off me. Because it was years. And I didn't even realize it until it started getting off. Because it was a lot of them. <laughs> and they started coming off. And basically, yeah, I just had to pay them. But I had to, did have to pay a lawyer. You know, that might be the reason they think it's a big shot. I didn't have to. It's better. Because it's all misdemeanors. But still, just don't just go in there by yourself. Get you a lawyer. That's all really. That's the, that's the thing. That's what we keep telling y'all fake gangsters. You don't need to be doing, acting up if you ain't got no money. Period. You ain't got no money to bail out. Your family ain't going to bail. Because that's how it's supposed to be. Your mom and them shouldn't be bailing you out. Your girls shouldn't bail you out. They shouldn't. Everybody shouldn't be auntie. Call auntie. No. Nobody should be bailing your ass out. If you ain't got the money to bail out on your own, you need to be just cooperating, even if you got the money. Like I said, most niggas I know, they never got beat up by the cops. And they, they these niggas getting arrested for murder. Why? Because they know what they did. They manning up. They got the money. Whatever. Or, or drugs or whatever. They, you know, big time drugs. They going to federal prison. You got to have the money to pay your lawyer. Y'all keep fighting with these cops like, oh, this is that. and I ain't, I don't even want to hear it because I saw a video yesterday. It was a 17, 18 year old. They got t- tased, and it's like they, they everybody see it in the video. All oh, most now black people speaking up. These little, they, they just being stupid. Wherever city they in, they had a curfew. Your city got a curfew. Everybody know what a curfew is. Our city just didn't have one when I was seventeen. So yeah, we could stay out all night. You know, that's up to your parents. Most of us, you know. Some of us had parents work that night. Some of us, you know, just, well, you're 17. You know, you know, as long as I guess you're doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Look, everybody got to come out because I come out. Look, the chick right there. The, I, I never seen most of the neighbors. Oh, but yeah. Oh, I forgot. I was really talking about this story about the air condition. So, I'm working in these projects. And uh, I think we're paying like 16 even though it was a forty-minute drive, you know, a lot of people like that. Nah, nah, I was like, eh. and then uh, I see I'm the only one that's doing the cleanup. Sometimes I like it when it's a bunch, cause it, even though I know that gang stalkers be some cool dudes, and we just have fun. All we gotta do is just throw the stuff away, cause they, te- you know, they tearing the inside down. It's like sixteen, seventeen. So yeah, I drive out there for that, and I think it was long term. So I was like, for me, it's worth it. For me, it's worth it. Now for everybody else, it might not be worth it. But for me, it was definitely, and the dude, like, I figured the dude just left me alone. As long as you making steady progress, plus it was hot as hell, as long as you making steady progress, you good. And he didn't. He didn't say, you know, make sure you got water. I'm like, yeah. But let me stop making another video.